No one is immune to the deadly Ebola virus in West Africa, not even the healthcare workers trying to stop the spread. The CDC says 100 healthcare workers have been infected so far. About half of them have died. Elaine Keanu is here to show us why those numbers aren't stopping a group of American doctors. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. Doctors say with the proper precautions, they'll be safe. But it's an undeniable risk with healthcare worker infections accounting for about 10% of all cases. A Boston doctor is on her way to West Africa to help. She said it's like going to battle. I think of it this way. I think that if we have a dangerous war going off at, at a distant shore, our soldiers don't say, hey, we're scared, we're not going to go. Dr. Nahid Badalia is headed to the front lines of the Ebola epidemic, Sierra Leone. There, she'll provide expertise on controlling the spread of the disease and personally treat those suffering from it. I have a healthy amount of fear and respect, but that fear is tempered by my knowledge about this pathogen and by my background and training. Bidalia is Director of Infection Control at Boston University's National Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratory and one of 50 U.S. healthcare workers flying to West Africa to try to stop the deadliest Ebola epidemic on record. She basically knows uh, what the risk is all about. Dr. Ron Morales has been helping Bidalia prepare for her trip. She's wearing a, uh, a Tyvek suit that has a hood and a booties. The basic crux of protecting oneself from Ebola is not getting any of the bodily fluids from the patient to you. So far, nearly 900 people have died in Guinea, Liberia, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone. Once a person is infected, the fatality rate is between 60 and 90 percent. Among the dead, one of Sierra Leone's top Ebola doctors, a victim of the very disease he was dedicated to fighting. I think Ebola occupies this special um, cultural stress in us because we've seen it in movies and such, you know, but it is another infection and we've done a wonderful job of dealing with other highly communicable infections and we will take care of this one safely. Dr. Bedalia says she's confident that with the necessar necessary resources and expertise, Ebola can be controlled. The CDC says it will send 50 additional disease control experts to the region by the end of the month.